Hi, I'm Morten Jön from flipnormals.com and in this very exciting tutorial today um, we're taking a look at um, UVing, but not Maya, we're UVing in Blender and the reason we're UVing in Blender is because Blender is amazing at UVing. Just imagine you just bought a spanking brand new license of Maya and you realize Maya isn't really that great for UVing. Blender's free, so um, go download it and, and just try it out. So this is what you'll be presented with when you open Blender for the first time, or any time, I suppose. And um, Blender is a little different. So, and I mean, we're not gonna be bothered with all this stuff to the side of that. We're, we're only gonna focus on the UV part. So um, there are some differences navigation-wise, stuff like that. But we'll we'll cover the basics just so you can sort of navigate around. So the first thing is navigation. The middle mouse button, if you hold that down you orbit around, really nice. Um, if you scroll, zoom in and out. Um, if you hold down control and the middle mouse button, you get the same result as scrolling. And holding on the shift key and the middle mouse button to sort of track around. All right, next thing is selection. Blender, in Blender you select things with your right mouse button. So, like this, not the left one, the left one has this weird 3D point thing. So, right mouse, right mouse button. Um, the next thing is the key A. A deselects or selects everything in your scene. And this is very nice because now we want to select all this and delete it. So just hit the delete key. Um, and if you don't have a delete key for some reason, uh, hit shift and X to bring up the delete menu and just delete everything. All right. Now there's one more thing we need to set up um, before we can get started. So if you go to File and User Prefs, we um, we need to set up a hotkey for sort of uh, viewing a selected object. So input should be the default uh, tab that you go to. Um, if not, just press it. And then go find 3D View. Under 3D View, find 3D Global, and scroll down to View Selected. Um, so because I'm on a laptop at the moment, I'm gonna set this up, but otherwise you could just use the numpad on the laptop. There is this emulate numpad feature, but I don't know, it doesn't work for me. Uh, it might work for you, so you could try it. But what I'll do is I'll take one of these views selected, which is this one, press it, and then press Shift F. Um, the reason I picked Shift F is because view navigation already uses Shift F, and view navigation for me is useless. Um, it just sort of like, like you're pointing a gun at the, at the viewport or something silly um, but yes shift F for me you can do whatever you want really um, all right let's just close this again and now let's get started so the first thing we want to do is put a file put import and we want to import a wavefront obj or I mean I, I want to you can import whatever you want maybe you have an STL format I don't know so I'll find my uh, my object my object for this scene is is a face so with our brand new hotkey, shift F for the numpad thing, um, press it to zoom in on the face. So next thing is we want to rearrange Blender to suit our UV needs. And Blender already has a layout for this. So if you go to this screen layout here, scroll down and find the UV editing layout, press it and magic. Suitable for UV. So again, let's just hotkey, shift F focus on our face. Right, now, now we want to start the actual UV process. So the way we do this is by going into edit mode. Right now you can see our object is in object mode. So <laughs> you can go down to object mode. Um, oh, right. right click on your object to select it, go down to object mode and press edit mode. Or you can press the tab key. The tab key just toggles edit mode on and off. So I'll be using tab because it's faster and I really think you should do. All right, so in, in uh, edit mode, you can see our UV start to appear up here. Um, but as soon as we go away from our object, still selected, but not in edit mode, it doesn't appear anymore. So the way to fix this is to go into edit mode and go down here, there's this little synchronize button. This basically just synchronizes the selection. So whatever selected over here is gonna be, uh, or appear to be selected over here as well. Uh, next step is to create a UV texture. 
so you can actually see what like in terms of stretching and size for UVs and stuff like that. So in your UV view, not the perspective view, you go to this little plus button um, to create a UV texture. Just give it a name, just call it UV. And under generated type, just select your UV grid. Um, this is just for, otherwise Blender won't know or you can't see the UVs. So just press OK to generate this texture. Right Now if you go down here, uh, you can press texture to see your object. Just go to edit mode again, you can see our beautiful, beautiful UVs. Um, now another annoying thing, or at least I think it's an annoying thing, um, right now you can see it's sort of transparent. Uh, which enables us to select uh, edges and, and vertices and whatnot behind um, the actual face. So to, to, to disable this, just go down here um, to limit our selection. You see this sort of toggles the opacity on and off. So now we can only select things that we can actually see. All right. Right. So the next thing is getting into edge mode. Edge mode is where we'll be selecting the edges we want to unwrap from. So the way you toggle between modes in Blender is with the control and tab key. So right now we're in vertex mode and we can go into face mode as well, but we're gonna go into edge mode. Alright, so just press A to deselect everything. Just select deselect today. And yeah, almost ready. One more thing. Um, what we want to do is in our perspective view, if you don't have this transform menu over here, just hit the, the T key. T key just brings up transform. And go under options and hit live unwrap. Now live unwrap is gonna enable you to, um, basically the way you unwrap in, in Blender is you mark an edge as a seam, and that tells Blender that this, this is the place where I'll start unwrapping. So, Let's um, say we wanted to select the eye over here. Now there are a few way, different ways you can select things in Blender. Again, remember it's with the right mouse button. So you can select an edge, so we're in edge mode now, and you can select a loop if you hold down Alt and then just click something. You can select multiple loops with Shift and Alt. Um, Shift just adds to your selection. Um, and then there's the... Uh, uh, control key. So if you select an edge down here and you want to select all the way up to an edge down up to an edge up here, holding down control, Blender will sort of find the shortest distance up there and, and select around. And holding down control will also add to the selection like this. So um yes. So now we're ready to, to finally UV. So yeah let's just try to cut out this eye. Um, for some reason. So hold on Alt, right click on this loop. Let's do the same thing. Shift Alt because we want to add an edge now. So um, just select that loop as well. And now press the Control and E key. This brings up our edges menu, which leaves us with all the options that we need. So we are looking for the Mark Seam button. So as soon as I click this, bam, it has cut out the UVs that we've selected, placed them, and left the rest. And that's just, that's pretty handy. So let's say we wanted to make a cut in our mesh, just right click there, control click up here, and it just sort of uh, loops until the point that you've selected. Um, very handy. Control E, mark seam, and cuts it open like that. So. And another nice little feature you can take a look at is um, if you go over here to UV view and you scroll down is the the stretch. Um, this just shows you where like how much stretching there, there is in your, your UVs. Um, so blue is is good. So <laughs> um unwrap is, is pretty decent I think. So I mean you can play around with the, with different unwraps um, and see what works best for you. And uh, one important thing to remember is, um, let's say you go out of edit mode and you press Control Tab um, for for the edges mode, it'll go into this weird brush mode. So just uh, <laughs> be sure that you're in edit mode before you press Control Tab. Um, I mean that's happened to me tons of times. So just a heads up.
and just uh, let's take a look at this. Let's just select all of our UVs and go to UV view and um, you press Control A. This just packs or sorry, sorry, averages all your UVs. Um, and then after that, you press Control P. And this packs it nicely into into the UV square or the UV island. And to get your model into I don't know, say another 3D package. Uh, let's just go out of the mode, select our model, and go to File, Export, and Export as an OBJ. And if you scroll down here, you have a few options um, that you might want to check out. Like, I don't know, I don't usually write materials. What I will do though is uh, write for normals, just to make sure that everything comes out nice and clean. So these are the options I usually use, and then I just export. So um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time.